We have a really special piece here. This is a 1947 Mills high top, but the special thing about it is, is this is a $1 machine. Uh, probably out of every 500 machines made, there was maybe $1 machine. This machine actually came out of Seattle, Washington, and it is absolutely pure as driven snow. I'm 100% positive that when they bought this machine from the factory, it came with this original Mills uh, metal stand. This is nicknamed the leapfrog machine because of the way that the coins go over. This machine actually has one, two, three, four, has four original Mills locks in it. One for the front load jackpot. This is a front load jackpot, so the machine does not automatically load it. It was designed that way. You put a key in here, you take this out, and you hand load these coins in here, which I filled full of Ike dollars. There's one for the hand load, one for the back door, one for the stand, as well as one for the cash box. Everything is in this machine. It has all of its original meters in it. All of the anti-cheat stuff is still in it. It has a light up reel bundle, which came from the factory, as well as it has the original reel tapes, original ward card. Every, this is pure as driven snow. I'm telling you, this thing is, is, everything is in this. It's not been monkeyed with. It's low miles because it was a dollar machine. Imagine playing a dollar machine in 1947. Wouldn't that be kind of equivalent to playing a $25 machine now? I mean, there would only be one of these. You'd be a high roller. Everybody would be kind of like, oh man, I'm playing a dollar machine, huh? As well as from the factory, they put a reserve sign on this so you would open it up, okay? And then if you went to go get some change, use the restroom, get a cocktail, you would close it. Everybody do not to mess with your machine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this a little spin for you here. Uh, everything works. I actually was playing this this morning and actually hit the jackpot. So, and this machine play, pays really quite well. These are great machines. Watch this, this is the leapfrog part. Whoop, the way that the coins pop over. See, it holds them. That's why they nicknamed this the leapfrog machine. This okay, is cool. this is a super cool. Everything's original tapes, a word card in great shape. Didn't get a lot of play simply for the fact that it is a dollar machine. What's nice about these is when you hit them, I mean, these are the big coins, right? So, I mean, this stuff comes clunking down, right? The other thing is, is that dollars, you will probably, I'm playing it with tokens right now. As you see, there's Eisenhower dollars in here. Those are readily available. I have like a thousand of them in stock. I was just looking this morning on eBay. There's thousands of them on their Ike dollars. They sell for about $125 for 100 of them. Once again, this is just super, super cool. Uh, if I'm gonna have Jeff come around here, I wanna show you the back of this for a second. Oops, messing with my speaker, my microphone. Here's all the keys, okay? Look at the back of this. This is spectacular. This is absolutely super cool. It's got its original locking cash box in here. I don't know if I can readily quickly find the key. Let's see here, number two. Nope, it's not that one. It has to be one of these. Nope. Um, so as you're looking in here, you see it has all the original paper, um, original light. Yeah, the sucker's here. Oh no, here it is, I'm sorry. Here is the <laughs> cash box key. They have actually put it on a clip here in the back, right? So let me open this for you. Here it is. You got a beautiful, nice original cash box, all Mills locks all the way around. Uh, all of the uh, counters are in it, all the papers in it. Watch it play from the back. This is really cool. Just pure as driven snow. Got the original key for the for the stand, once you open the stand, you take an Allen wrench and you unscrew two screws, this will come off and your machine would slide out the back. Original stand, original graphics, original paint. We always talk about, would we leave it, would we restore it or would we leave it original? This is 100% we would leave this original. It is way too nice to be monkey in with. Uh, we choose what we're gonna do with our products when they come in. I would love to keep this machine. I've only, this is the first, second, leapfrog machine I've ever owned in dollar denomination. Uh, once again, everything works great. Killer, killer, killer piece. Let's see if we can hit something. This machine's been hitting really good for me. It's unaltered and unchanged from the factory. Plays and pays really nice. Come on. 
and that's the way they are supposed to sound. I was hitting a bunch here earlier, so that's why it's... Ah. Anyway, super, super, super nice machine. So if you want it, we can get it crated up or we'll actually pallet, put it on a pallet and have our blanket wrap people send it out to you. We can get it out uh, within a day or so. And remember, we restore stuff. So if you have anything, send us some pictures. We'll get it picked up across America, get it brought in for restoration. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. You should get this. These guys sell Mantiques. This is their store. We're picking, we're bringing stuff every day, in and out, in and out, in and out. We're, we're, we're shaking and baking. These are their customers. Give me the rundown on the GMC. This lived in a bar in Ghent in Belgium. Follow Jim and Jeff from 9 to 5 or after hours as they buy, sell, and restore the coolest stuff for the coolest collectors worldwide.